uh, industrial IoT application that uses advanced AI, machine learning, and computer vision algorithms to perform image analysis for automated defect detection of industrial assets. Assets can include anywhere from power delivery infrastructures, such as transmission and distribution towers, substations, power generation, such as solar farms, wind turbines, linear assets like railways, water pipes, and critical infrastructures like roads and bridges. So the product is really intended for more asset intensive industries, looking to reduce O&M cost, increase worker safety, increase, uh, increase grid reliability, and uh, achieve a faster end-to-end -end process to manage, categorize, and tag image data to a specific asset type at scale. So broadly speaking, Hibi has two major components. One is the engine uh, that supports the integrated workflow of processing images and videos captured by robots, helicopter, drones, to really um, detect uh, defects and provide insights on a dashboard. Um, the second key component is the pre-trained ML machine learning model specific to industry use cases. And today I'll walk you through the transmission and distribution um, use case. I'm logged in as, um, this is the Hibi application. I'm logging in as John, who is an SME. Uh, Hibi is a Kubernetes-based application. You can run it on any cloud. It can run on Azure, AWS, GCP. The, for the uh, this particular demo is running on Azure. So as a transmission and distribution planner, when I, um, Login, I uh, end up in this overview or the landing page. So at a glance, I'm able to understand how many you know, critical defects uh, exist in across my programs, uh, how many are high defects and total defects. And the, it's so Hibi has a grading scale of severity from S1 to S5, S1 being a, you know severe, very severe and critical and S5 being the minimal. Um, and this is a split map visualization. Wherever, wherever you navigate through the map view, you'll see the result filter on the left panel. You also have the option to uh, look at the highest severity or the newly created defect. You have uh, the all of these are clickable. You can review, you can view a task. Um, you can look at the status of this particular image. Um, you have the option to view that, um, view the particular program and project. Uh, this uh, specific image or defect is tied to. So that brings us to some of the key modules that I want to give you a quick overview before I dive into any further.